Hi everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these hot chocolate push pops. So they're supposed to look just like a real mug of hot chocolate with the chocolate in the middle and a nice marshmallow topping. So let's get started. So what we're going to need is one batch of our homemade brownie recipe, which I'll put a link in the description box for you, or you can use a box mix, that's up to you. We're going to be using mini candy canes for the handles and we're going, since we're making push pops, you're going to need push pop containers and we're going to be using this buttercream, which is our vanilla buttercream dyed white and I'll link it for you as well and little teeny tiny marshmallow bits and shaved chocolate. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my brownie recipe to fill up the inside of the push pop to act as the hot chocolate. I'm using a cutter that is the same size as, the, as my push pop. Now some people like to just turn their push pop upside down and just go like that, but I don't wanna get this dirty and I happen to have a cutter that's the same size, so I prefer this. So what I'm just gonna do is because it's pushed down a little bit here, and because brownie mixtures are quite thick and hard, I'm gonna use my knife to go around the rest of the way, like this, and then pop it out. And then I'm going to push this down to the bottom, and I would continue to push out pieces of or cut out pieces of the brownie until my push pop is filled. And a little tip that I just learned is if the inside of the push pop has this little, little, little thing here, and if you use an extra one like this, you can actually get your push pops to stand up for you, and that's quite handy. So I'm gonna cut out some more brownie pieces and fill up my push pop. So I have my brownie filling up most of my push pop container. Now I'm going to take my white buttercream and I'm going to fill up the rest of the container with the white buttercream. Just going around the outside here now because I want to leave a spot in the center that will hold the chocolate sprinkles a little bit better. Just like this, just sprinkling them on. And then room as well for the marshmallows. And then afterwards, you guys don't want to be eaten. I'm just going to pick up a couple and put them all the way around the marshmallow or sorry, the buttercream. So it looks like the top of what you might see as an actual cup of hot chocolate. So then for the handle, I'm just gonna take the candy cane and press it into the buttercream, just like that. And you have a cup of hot chocolate. So there you go, everybody. How to make hot chocolate push pops. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. Remember to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all of our newest videos. And you can find us over on Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, and of course, Google+.